My name is Devin Saxon, and I'm the Senior Sales Engineer here at Nacelle. And today I'm going to go ahead and walk you through on how to get started with our quick demo sandbox environment. Within this walkthrough, we're going to go ahead and set up a demo store and simulate a headless architecture workflow by leveraging Shopify as our product resource, Contentful is going to be our content management system, Nuxt as our progressive web app front-end JavaScript framework, and then finally Nacelle as our indexing layer to connect everything together. I'd like to point out that Nacelle is not isolated to these brands, we're unopinionated in the services that you choose. We stand by this best of breed philosophy that ultimately is gonna give you the tech flexibility that your business needs as you continue to scale in the future. So if you have any questions around how we may fit within your own stack, please reach out for a follow-up. Let's go ahead and get started. In order to get Shopify and Nacelle to communicate, we're gonna to need to set up a private app within your Shopify store. So let's walk through that. The first thing that we need to do is go ahead and click apps within the left-hand navigation, then manage private apps, which will give us the option to create a new private app. Let's name this demo app, and then we can throw in an email. Shout out to Levi. We'll need to set some admin and storefront API permissions, and then we'll be ready to go. So let's set read access to both products and store content. And then after that, we'll need to scroll down to the storefront API and make sure that box is checked so we can access the storefront API. We want everything checked outside of the read customer tags, and then we can create the app. Make sure to note that we'll need this storefront access token later when we're aligning credentials within the Nacelle space settings. But before we get to Nacelle, let's go ahead and set up Contentful. We are gonna set up our content management system space Contentful through a command line interface. We then will upload a JSON file that has some model schema to help you get started with. This will ultimately enable you to create content for your sandbox environment. But before we dive in, as a reminder, you'll need to sign up for a Contentful account prior to any of these steps. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is install Contentful. So let's do a quick NPM install right here. Cool. Now we can go ahead and log in into Contentful and you'll have the option to open the browser and you can paste your token from Contentful over into within your command line interface. Great, now let's ensure that we are logged in and list all our spaces. Cool, everything's there, we are in. So the next thing that we want to do is create a new space. We're gonna link this space to our Nacelle space. Let's go ahead and add a name. We can call it demo, and then we'll just confirm the creation. So next, let's choose the right organization, which is Nacelle. And then I wanna copy over that space ID we just created, and then make sure that we're in that space. Cool. So the last thing that we want to do is import that default content model schema that I was talking about earlier to give you those building blocks to get started within your Contentful space. So let's save that file to our desktop, go ahead and import it within our Contentful space. Wait for that download process, there it goes. Or I should say import process. And then let's just verify within Contentful. And there are our components, great. Great. Now we're ready to align both Shopify and Contentful within our sales space. This next step will enable you to index all of your product inventory from Shopify and content from Contentful, which is a huge advantage for the static site build process for your PWA. Given that your front end framework will need to make hundreds to thousands of API calls to gather all the context that it needs for this build, Nacelle ensures that you not only avoid any bottlenecks and eventual consistency issues, but also will consolidate down to our single API to give easier maintenance for your development team. Again, before doing any of these steps, you'll need to have a Nacelle account already set up. So let's go ahead and add some credentials. We're going to log in, go ahead and give our new space a name. And then for the product connector, we're going to be leveraging Shopify. But as you'll notice in the drop down menu, we have a custom option. And this is just really aligning with our best in breed ideology. But to continue with Shopify, we'll need to grab the storefront API GraphQL endpoint, which is just the domain of your Shopify store. And then the storefront access token, which you may have saved over from earlier. Ah, and we also want to do an auto sync. So let's go to the settings in the bottom left handle locations and scroll all the way to the bottom of the page to grab that webhook key. Now, any changes we make within the product in Shopify will automatically be indexed within the cell. So let's index these products and then move on with the setups because that can work in the background. So the next thing we want to do is choose contentful, but same ideology with the best in breed. I'm going to copy over the space ID and then we'll need to add an access token. So we'll actually need to create an API key give it a name, then copy that access token over. So let's save this. Oh, let's go back and save this. And now we can add that access token, index our content, and then we're good to go with the cell. 
Now that everything is configured, we're going to go ahead and create our Nuxt application by leveraging the Nacelle Nuxt starter template to give you your sandbox store. Let's recap what we've done so far. We've gone ahead and linked both your products and content to our Nacelle space so that all these assets can be properly indexed. This is key for the static build process of our front end in regards to managing those thousands of API calls that it will need to make. Without Nacelle in place for this build, you're risking both data discrepancy and eventual consistency issues that will be created by various bottlenecks within your stack. Now with this final step, we can connect our Nux starter kit to our Nacelle space and get you all squared away. So we're going back to that command line interface, and it's as simple as typing this command to create your own demo store. Cool. So once this project is installed, it's going to ask you for your Nacelle space ID and the GraphQL token, which you can just get from the Nacelle settings. Now that everything is properly linked, we can go change the directory to the demo store and then run the application. This is exciting. Let's flip that. And there it is. There's our store. Now we got the address, we got the store up and running, and it's ready to be edited within your Contentful account. So enjoy. In conclusion, we were able to build out the flow you would experience in a headless architecture with Nacelle. First, you'll note that your workflow within your product inventory manager, Shopify in this case, would not change. Second, we want to enable you with a headless content management system like Contentful to better help your team to make those visual changes that you need within your storefront. And finally, the elasticity and power of Nacelle will eliminate any worry of changes that you make within your backend systems, like price updates, inventory availability, content adjustment, etc., from not instantly being reflected within your storefront PWA eliminating headaches like eventual consistency. So if you're curious on how Nacelle will best fit within your stack, please make sure to follow up. Take care. Thanks for watching.